Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another episode of Method to the Madness. And yes, yes, y'all, I am uh, doing this episode based on the latest drop that is simply called uh, Rock You, Clock You. And yes, this is a remix of uh, <clears throat> of uh, Queen's We Will Rock You. And uh, we'll get into more of the backstory of this song. As you can clearly see, um, yes, this is a picture of me um, on the uh, left-hand side of the screen. Uh, this was my first year of, you know, of t-ball, baseball. For those of you who don't know what t-ball, baseball is, it's basically uh, baseball for the little, little kids. I think the age range for t-ball is, um, like, from age six. I know my first year, I was six years old um, when I first played and I played for three years, so six, seven, and eight years old, you know what I mean? I played uh, t-ball for three years and uh, on three different teams. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So this song was heavily inspired by my childhood. And, again, we'll get into more of that as the song progresses. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this thing by, uh, like in the hit, hit, go. Hey, yo, Rob, you gonna take me back to my t-ball days with this one? Just hoping all my childhood friends hear this one. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. So yeah, as you can tell from that intro, I kind of cut it off a little bit early, but I mean, it's my song. I already know what, what, what I say in it. Um, but yeah, so uh, the person, Rob, that I'm referring to, I'm referring to to the gentleman who made this beat. Um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his last name, but he, his first name is Robert. Um, he is tagged in, a, in the title. I put produced by uh, Robert m uh, i'll just say m you know what i mean Cause for his last name um because <clears throat> again i don't want to butcher the man's last name you know what i'm saying out, out of respect but he's the one that made uh this remake beat of, of the for the song you know rock you clock you you know what i'm saying and i just fell in love with it i thought it was dope and uh the way that you know the uh the uh rhythm of the beat it, it took me back to a time um when me and, and my teammates, when we be up up to bat, um, you know, we be a, a little rump, you know, ram uh, rambunctious, if you will, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get the crowd, you know what I mean, all hyped up and everything. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back into this. Let's go. Trying to face me in the streets, you don't want it, homie. Better move your feet, finna lose some teeth. Got blood on your face, your big disgrace. Best raise your ass up out of this place, cuz. Now, before we get into the hook, the verse, um, all original lyrics, except for some parts, obviously, um, I wanted to change up the lyrics a little bit to kind of give it more of an urban feel, because, you know, again, I was born and raised in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I wanted to bring it, I want I wanted my version to represent, you know, my or, like where I grew up, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, hence the, you know, the fighting in the streets and all that kind of, that kind of noise, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bruh. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the first hook. We will, we will rock you. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. We will, we will rock you. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. Okay, so the origin story behind this version of the hook. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> me and my team, you know, whenever we would uh, be up to bat and we'd be, you know, chilling in the batting cage waiting for our turn to go up to bat. Uh, what we would do is we would um, actually stand on top of the bench in the batting cage and we would uh, mule kick the back wall to get that we will rock you rhythm. You know that do 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 And then instead of doing the original hook, you know, the we will, we will rock you. Uh, uh, uh. We will, we will rock you. We came up with a, with a remix uh chant if you will for the hook um the 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 wording is it's a little bit different um back in the day we used to um it's, instead of using saying the singing the original hook what we used to sing was we will we will rock you sock you pick you up and drop you you know what i mean because that was like the words to use back in the day you know what i'm saying that was our chant we will we will rock you sock you pick you up and drop you in the hook, however, I changed it up to, uh, 
you know, obviously you got the main part of the hook, but then that secondary piece, which again is inspired by, you know, my days in T-ball, you know what I mean? And my, 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 that part of my childhood and all of my, you know, my friends who were my, you know, all my teammates, you know what I mean? Um, I wanted to change up the words a little bit just to kind of make it more, you know, more today, more modern, you know what I mean? But still have that sound and that feel of that chant that we used to sing from back in the day when we were, when we were youngins, you know what I'm saying? So instead of the sock you, uh, pick you up and drop you, I changed it to clock you, lift you up and drop you. You know what I mean? So yeah, and because not only, you know, just like I said, to make it more more modern, more today, but I think it, it flowed a lot better as well. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the second verse. Drop, you to run your mouth for that limited clock. Yeah, see what you're about. You finna get knocked out. You got blood on your face. You don't waste the space. Finna put your ass right into your place. Come. Now, the second verse is heavily inspired by you know by all the things that you know we, we would see here on YouTube. You know, obviously, you know, you see these more uh successful YouTubers, you know what I mean, that begin uh called out by some not so successful YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, mainly for what? To chase clout. So that's basically what that is. Me calling out clout chasers and whatever and uh, telling them to, you know, basically just know your damn role, stay in your place, you know what I mean? Stay in your lane, you know what I mean? Because, hey, keep acting a fool, man. Messing around and you keep messing around, acting a fool, you're going to find out the hard way, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yo, best just. Keep your cool, do your thing, stay in your lane. You know what I mean? That's all that, that was about. Let's go ahead and get into um, the rest of the song. We will, we will rock it. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. We will, we will rock it. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. We will, we will rock it. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. We will, we will rock it. Clock you, lift you up and drop you. Rock you. So as as you heard there, there was a little bit of a of a build up there, and yeah, I wanted the hook that time being that it was gonna be much longer. I wanted there to be a little bit more of a build up because we're about to get into a uh, guitar solo, and then we're gonna get into another hook that's gonna be more of the original style of the We Will Rock You type hook. You know what I mean? Like, watch. This is what I mean. Dude, tell me that that guitar ain't epic. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Alright y'all, so that was uh, Rock You Clock You by your boy Jason JV, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, so yeah, that last hook, uh, as you can tell, it was more of the traditional hook, you know, from the original uh, version of Queen's We Will Rock You, 
and I wanted that closing right there to be exactly the way it was, the way it came out, because I wanted to, you know, pay that homage, you know what I'm saying, show that respect to the original song, you know what I'm saying, so that's why I had it play out just like that, um, I think it was, it was a nice way to close it out, and just, yeah, overall, I mean, I don't know, I, I'm pleased with the way this remix came out, um, this one was, like I said, it was inspired by, you know, my childhood, um, you know what I'm saying, um, it, it was heavily inspired by, you know, um, you know, my, uh, days as a, as a T-baller, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, yeah, and yeah, as you can tell, I got the, the Blue Jays, uh, logo there, uh, that was not our logo, you know, um, our logo was, was a little bit different, and it was, it looked like the Toronto Blue Jays logo, but I, somehow they managed to, I believe, they managed to get rid of the, the, uh, Maple Leaf part, because, you know, um, you know, creative licenses and all that stuff, you know, copyright and all that. Uh, so yeah, uh, first year I played, I was, I played for, you know, the Blue Jays. Second year I played, it was for the Falcons. You know what I mean? All, all the teams I played are freaking animal based teams, if you know what I mean. So Blue Jays, first two teams were, 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 uh, were uh, birds, you know what I mean? Like the first year was Blue Jays, second year was Falcons. And, um, however, our uniform, for the Falcons was like white and orange, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it was, it was a weird color combo, but we had the uh, Atlanta Falcons logo on there, but of course it was done in white because again, you know, uh, copyright. So, you know, creative license and whatnot. And, um, <clears throat> and then the third year I played for the Bulls and yes, they actually used the bull from the Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? This was right around the time where, when the, when the Ch uh, Chicago Bulls, was really hot, you know what I mean, Jordan, you know what I mean, he, he he was the man, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, it gives you an idea, you know what I mean, <laughs> like, like, you know, the, uh, the time frame, the era that, you know what I mean, when, like, when, when I was, when I was just a youngin', you know what I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, and yeah, and I'm pretty sure, if not the last two years I played, or for all three years, we did that, that rock you, sock you, pick you up and drop you chant, um, when we were being in the, in the batting cage and I'm pretty sure, um, the, the, the team I was on, we were the only ones who did that. The, the rival team, they never did it. Um, <clears throat> the only chant I think the rival teams would do pretty much the same chant we would do whenever we would be, you know, out in the field, you know what I mean? That we want a pitcher, not a booty itcher and all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think we were the only ones who would do the, the, the we will rock you um sock you pick you up and and drop you chant you know what i'm saying when we would be in the batting cage so yeah um i did originally do um a song that was based on that like back in the day but this was before i had my own studio setup um i recorded it on my homie's uh studio setup you know what i'm saying and um he had you know the original file and everything and um and uh, I I don't remember if he ever gave me the file or not. All I know is that somehow, some way, that that file ended up getting getting lost. And um, so I really didn't have much of a choice but to redo this. I mean, I wanted to redo it anyway because you know I've done a lot of growing, a lot of you know maturing with my music and everything. So I really wanted to test myself, you know, at this point to see if I could do a proper you know, we will rock you remix, you know what I'm saying, and so, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it, you know, I'm curious to see what you guys think of it, you know what I mean, let me know, um, honestly, how you guys feel about it, you know what I mean, are you rocking with it, are you not, you know, uh, feel free to let me know, uh, on that video, you know what I'm saying, please go, go listen to that song, uh, go listen to that remix, you know what I'm saying, um, if you're digging it, would much appreciate if you guys can hook me up with a thumbs up on that video and if you're digging this uh method to the madness series or i basically where it's basically my own you know behind the lyrics series you know what i'm saying uh please let me know with the thumbs up down below and then of course your feedback is welcome in the comment section down below all i ask is that you know please be civil about it you know what i'm saying we don't need life is too short to be you know fucking stupid with each other and and coming off sideways you know what i'm saying bruh <clears throat> bruh but anyway all right, y'all. Really hope you guys dig this video and everything. Uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to checking out y'all's feedback. And uh, like I said, don't forget to match that thumbs up. Uh, don't forget 
the link for the original video that has the instrumental is going to be in the video description of the remix so yeah you guys can go check out the instrumental on its own if you like you know what i'm saying i i may post a link for that for either that video on this video or the remix link will be in the description down below uh or i'll, or I'll probably link both videos you know what i mean i think i'll do that yeah but anyway don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the description down below. And uh, let's make sure that we're showing the fan bam some love as well. That will be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, please uh, ask that if if you're not subscribed to the channel already, uh, hopefully I've done enough to earn your subscription. You know what I mean? That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, make sure you got your bell notification uh, set to all so you never miss an upload. doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. You feel me? And uh, until the next one, it's your boy Jason JV. Seeing y'all have a blessed one. And uh, yeah, catch you on the next one, all right? Peace.